Well, in the last episode, we managed to get uh, to the next stage of the FA Cup, the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. But we weren't doing so well in the Vanarama National League. Question is, have we brought any players in since you were last with us? We're about to find out. Hello and welcome along and welcome to episode three of this year's To Be A Legend. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have two games for you. First up we have Brackley Town in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round and then we have a game in the Vanarama National League against Scarborough Athletic. But since you were last with us we haven't done anything because obviously those two games back to back and we wanted the... Uh, Brackley Town FA Cup fourth qualifying round to show up because um, if we look in the club vision, uh, the expectation is to reach the FA Cup proper. So uh, at the moment we're doing okay, but we need to do that and uh, be competitive in the FA Trophy. That's something else. Uh, but uh, reach the National uh, League playoffs, mm, that's going to be a bit of a tall order, certainly with what uh, what was going on in the last episode. However. However, if we quickly switch to here, um, you'll see that there are three players waiting potentially to come in. Um, James Clark, Jack Lee and Matt Richardson, um, central defender, central defender, defensive winger. Uh, they're coming in. But since you were last with us, we have actually brought in one player at the moment. Jordan Ayana He's uh, a free transfer coming in. Um, we brought him in on a trial, but he's um, he's he's come in as a um, non-contract, like contracted, but non-contract. We're not paying him any money. We're only paying him um, appearance fees. Um, he has uh, come in from Fulham. Would you believe? Been released by Fulham. Was at Chelsea, then uh, Fulham. Uh, been released by them. He's uh, now with us. Um, I think until the end of the season. Um, but obviously it depends if somebody else sneaks in for him. There's no no contractual contractual details. Here we go. Um, no non-contract. Um, so he could go at any time. Parents fee two hundred and fifty um, for playing for us. So um, question is, will he make his debut today? That's what we will need to find out. Um, as you saw from the other screen uh, in the transfer centre, these three players. Uh, certainly looking like they will come in. James Clark hopefully will come in. He is a um, wing back, right sided wing back, can play defensive, defensive midfield as well. Um, he's got a four star current ability, which is absolutely fantastic. So we could actually see him play in any of these positions up the right hand side of the pitch. Can play on the left hand side if we really, really get stuck, but he's unconvincing in that place. So he looks okay. Jack Lee. He's another one that uh, we're looking for. Three, he's come from Sheffield Wednesday. Not really done anything at Sheffield Wednesday, but uh, he's three-star current ability. Central defender, six foot four tall, um, 12 heading, and he's got a jumping reach of 15. So I think if uh, he comes in, we would be doing exceedingly well. Matt Richardson, uh, also a defender um, in the central position. Probably not uh, the same ilk as uh, James Lee. Uh, sorry, Jack Lee, but uh, certainly uh, of an ilk. We've got a few other trialists on trial as well, including a couple of goalkeepers. So who knows? We might be um, bringing a couple of uh, players in just to uh, shore up um, the um, the lines for the time being anyway. Right, without any more to do, let's get on with the first game of the episode. It is a... Um, I'm not sure why that came up after it was very slow to come up. Um, I think what we was actually looking is to show you how James Clark actually fits in um, with the current ability in the team. Um, Johnny Madison, that was the player um, that we're potentially um, looking for. He's a sweeper keeper. He's uh, 28, um, but um, he might just be the best uh, goalkeeper we've got for the time being anyway. Um, Jack Lee down here, so um, yeah, we got a we got a bit of a selection to choose from, right? Yes, as I said, we're going to get on with the episode. Brackley Town, 
Um, we're going to meet in the fourth qualifying round of the uh, FA Cup. We do need to progress if we are to meet the uh, the board's expectations in this one. So let's see what we can do. Brackley Town currently are 11th, I think it is, in the uh, Vanarama National League. Um, been doing reasonably well. Recent results, 1-0 against Alfreton. Um nil nil against Telford and they got a four nil in the third FA Cup third round against Cogs Hill. So there we go. Let's have a look at the team that will face them. And here is the team. Uh, we've got a couple of changes. Uh, I think a foot uh, Richardson is um in goal clark granite brisley is back from his suspension in central defense burke out on the right elliot and kirby in midfield uh osborne tasmidir tasdemir uh darnley is out on the right gilchrist comes in for his first uh show we'll see what he's made of he comes in up front and then girolamo uh lever bun bowden Aina gets Jordan Aina, who we've just brought in, uh, gets his first bench, Hardy and McKay. And these are the two teams, as you see, facing up uh, pretty much uh, the same. They have a man called Rooney at, uh, up front for them. As the teams come out, let's get underway. And they have the first highlight to throw in on that far side. I presume they're coming this way. Rooney to Steed. Is that, is that John Steed? He used to play for Bristol City. We'll check that out later. It's gone over the top and Armson has got there and takes a shot from distance. But uh, thankfully, nothing doing. Early worries and a highlight again. We need to start winning some balls here, boys. Come on. Oh. Wilson equal to that. Clark with a throw in on that far side. Back to Clark. Clark comes inside, crosses it for Dearney. Dearney. And Dan Lee uh, gets uh, our goal, the first goal, on 21 minutes. Seems to be a bit of a theme. I think we scored in 21 minutes in the last game. Tasmidia was back to Clark. Clark. Dan Lee. And the goalkeeper really should have had that. It wasn't that hard. It didn't look that hard anyway. It didn't sort of belt it in the back of the net. We have a corner now. Kirby. And it's headed over the top by Bursley. Or Brisley. I'll get used to these names. Sam Osborne has picked up an injury as well. Can we eke him out until half time? Question is Wood over the top. Oh, it's come off the post. It's back into the area. Gilchrist heads it clear. And I think there was an offside there, actually. Thankfully. And Gilchrist has picked up an injury now up front. Oh, dear. We're going to bring Scott Bowden on up front. Um, and do we take a potential armour injury for Sam Osborne? But that's not good news, is it, really? Another injury. Point a finger. Come off this, actually. Go out and make me proud. Bowden is composed. Or two, three, one, version one formation, picking up lots of yellow cards in the, towards the end of that second half. Sorry, second half, first half. Brisley and Kirby picking up yellow cards. Ten shots, four on target, nearly fifty percent. Point eight seven, fifty one percent possession. Brackley Town have had three shots, one on target. Point three eight. And we get the second half underway. No changes, just tweaks to the system. Kirby comes forward. Burke. Burke. 
puts the ball through, trying to find and Taz Demir, not even bothering to run for it, which is uh, very, uh, very, very poor. Osborne wins the ball, but uh, gives it away. Float a long ball forward, and uh, the ball is won. And Armisen's in. He's put it wide. Oh, looks like it's in slow motion. Whether it is or not. I'm just having a think. No, it's, uh, it's as it should be. Sure, what's going on there? So we continue. Sixty minutes on the clock. Lewis with the goal kick. Osborne winning that ball back. Left him on, even though he's injured. It's only his arm. Let's face it. Clark to Elliot. Elliot floats one over the top. Bowden is in, and he's skewed that well wide. Five minutes, 66 minutes on the clock. Let's have a look. Um, I've just realised we are balanced, which really should be positive in this uh, in this mode. Let's sort this out because uh, it's not letting. Is it time to bring Sam Osborne off? Who do we bring on in place of him? Girolamo on that left wing. Girolamo. As a winger, and the other player that we're going to take off, I think, on this occasion is Tasmadia. Um, the recommending Harry Bunn comes on for him. So Harry Bunn, we will bring on and see if we can get him to do something. Make him an attacking midfielder. On attack as opposed to the other. Let's see what happens. Team talk. Pump this. Plenty of time left to make an impression. And do. Twenty five minutes on the clock. We've made all our changes. All three of them. Get an extra one if it goes to extra time, which don't really want to make. We can help it. Richard swings that out wide, and Steady's going to get on the end of it. Stead's come in. He's going to have a go from distance, but uh, it's gone out for a corner. Armisen with that uh, corner. It's headed away. York. Plenty of space he's been given. Dernley. Doing a bit of defending, and uh, he's headed it back into the path, and that's a shot from distance, but it goes over, and it's a goal kick. We're into injury time. Granite with the free kick. It's uh, three minutes of injury time. It's over the top. Granite clears it, but only as far as said Burke gets there. Can Dernley get? Uh, no, he can't. Burnley wins the ball. Kirby. Kirby to Elliot. Elliot finds Dernley. Dernley back to Elliot. Elliot wins space. Oh, and who was that? That was Bowden again. Or, come on. Bisley or Brisley gets on that. Stead's going to get it. And, ooh, it's gone wide. Skewed that wide. And we've got a minute to kill. Go to balanced. Granite. Elliot. Elliot out to Girolamo. Clark. Elliot. Bowden tries to find Bun. 
Grizzly. Just head it on. Head it down. Girolamo. Clark. Need a bit of pace. And uh, oh, Clark still got it. Cross the ball in. Bowden. Oh, he's hit the post. But he come back and Harry Bung gets his third of the season. We've won this one 2-0 and met the uh, expectations of the board. It's been a bit of a dour affair, but uh, we have actually managed to get it in the end. Bowden, oh, hit, slammed that. He's a good shot. He slammed it against the post, but uh, luckily Harry Bunn was uh, lurking and uh, managed to uh, convert it away. So that's how we finished. 14 shots, five on target, 2.15, 70, sorry, 55% possession. They had eight shots, two on target, 0.86. That's looking good. I think we could have a draw for the uh, for the first round proper coming up very soon. And so you join us for the draw for the Emirates uh, FA Cup first round proper. 90 teams go into the draw for the 40 matches to be drawn uh, with League 1 teams and League 2 teams, I presume, entering the competition. Uh, just to mention, we do have, uh, we've brought in a raft of uh, players between games there. So uh, we'll have a quick look at those in a moment. Let's have a draw then for the FA Cup. This could be a bit drawn out because it uh, takes a bit of while. We're first out by the looks of it. I presume that's us. Buxton, yes. First out. And we play Oxford United. Oxford United of League One. I'm not going to go through the rest of the draw then. We'll advance to the end. And have the full draw. I will just slowly drag it down to see if you've got a team in there that you fancy. And if you have who they are playing against, you can pause to have a look as it goes through the screen. 40 matches. We were first out of the hat. So not an elongated draw from our point of view. We'll go back to the top. That game against Oxford United. It will come a little bit later. We'll have a look at the schedule a little bit later on. But transfers... Uh, Johnny Madison is a player that we're hoping to bring in. He's a goalkeeper, 28 year goal, eight year old goalkeeper. I think we mentioned him on the last episode or, or earlier this episode. I can't remember now. Um, but we have brought in three more players. Matt Richardson has come in. He is uh, he's coming on a non contract. He's a central defender. He's six foot tall, uh, heading of ten and a jumping reach of ten. Uh, Jack Lee. He is a, a defender, as we think we mentioned before, six uh, foot four, 12 heading, 15 jumping reach. So he's uh, looking exceedingly good. And James Clark, he is uh, this right sided player that can play either in uh, a defensive position or um, in midfield or out on the right. But we'll probably play him in these back two positions more often than uh, not he's come in he's uh actually come in on a contract um he's on 350 pounds a week and and is with us until 2024 so he's with us for a couple of seasons which is great news right um having said all of that confirmation that we have drawn oxford in um the uh First round proper of the FA Cup. As I said, we will have a look at that a little bit later on. But in the meantime, let's have a look at the team that will face Scarborough Athletic. In fact, we'll do that now. Scarborough Athletic. I don't think we've played them yet this season. We haven't. Uh, Scarborough Athletics, um, I think previously have come up their first season in um, the Van Rama National League North. So uh, they're making uh, debut. Their uh, manager, Carlton Palmer, is... Uh, is their manager previous results are so 1-1 in the FA Cup third round, 2-1 uh, after extra time in the FA Cup third qualifying round and um, lost 1-0 to Kettering in the National League. So hopefully that is a good sign.
And the team to face Scarborough for this one. It's uh, Richardson in goal, Clark, Lee, Brisley, and the other Clark on the, the right. So it's Clark 1 and Clark 2. Uh, Elliot and Kirby in midfield. Bunn, Tasmadir, and Darnley in front of them. Girolamo is uh, up front. I'm just uh, wondering whether we... Bunn playing out on the left. That's okay. Uh, Girolamo... Um, is uh, playing up front. It's Ayana, Granite, uh, Paul, Bowden and Osborne on the bench. Lee making his debut. Clark making his debut. And Ayana still has to sit it out um, on the bench. And uh, here we go. As you see, we are facing up. They are playing a 4 Three, two, one. We are playing our four, two, three, one. So slightly different. They're just playing with a defensive minded uh, player in there. But uh, let's see how we get on with this uh, new players. Good to be at home again against Scarborough Athletic. Fun being dispossessed, but he's won it back. A little bit of uh, wanting to win it. Bun crosses the ball in. Tasminda, Tasmadir didn't quite connect with that, I don't think. Lee out to Clark, Clark the uh, Wayne Clark. It, well, it didn't come to anything anyway. 20 minutes gone. They have a throw in. And it's cleared across to Clark, the other Clark. Dean Lee, not a lot of pace in this. That's the only thing. Missed the pace. Tasmadir out to Bun. Bun, he's put it away. He's, I'll tell you what, he does score a good goal. Fourth goal of the season for Bun. And uh, 22 minutes on the clock this time. Nearly the 21 minute time again. Dean Lee, as we see the replay. Nice ball control, just steady himself. No defenders putting him under any pressure. And he thwarted that away in the back of the net. And we go one up. Harry Bum picking up a yellow card now. For his troubles. As we head towards half time, ball launched forward, but their defence tidies up. Dernley comes back and nicks it off. Taz Madir, Taz Demir. I just go and call him Taz. Dernley. That went straight through the goalkeeper. I think the goalkeeper was invisible. I didn't see how many goals Dernley has scored. But it's irrelevant. Two goals to nil. Uh, 44 minutes on the clock. Taz Madir. Taz. I'm gonna, I'm, I keep trying it, don't I? Taz. To Dernley. And... Uh, I'm not sure what uh, what was going on there. Cracknell, the goalkeeper, just didn't really have his hand on the ball at all. Half time arrives. Ten shots, three on target. Two of those have been goals. 1.53 on the XG. 50% possession. They've had three shots, two on target. 0.15. No changes at half time. Not even tweaked the system as it's going so well at the moment. Seventy minutes comes and we're uh, we're looking to uh, just check in, make a few changes. Uh, Taz Demir is tired. Declan Paul can come on in that slot, so we'll drop Declan Paul in there. What we might do is swap Harry Bun and Declan Paul over. Bit better, I'm not sure. Um, do we make another change at this stage? Do we need to make another change at this stage? Brisley is getting tired at the back there. But we do have a number of defenders that can come on. 
it is not uh, his favourite spot. Josh Granite is on the bench. I think what we might do is just uh, stick with it for a little bit longer. Um, we're going to pump this. There's plenty of time left to make a mark. And uh, first time we've seen Paul on the pitch. Declan Paul. And Girolamo. He's having a run forward. Back to Clark. Clark crosses it in, but it's a poor ball. Lee is underneath that. Kirby. Fun. Dernley. Dernley shoots. It's come off the crossbar. He uh, he definitely connected with that. And the player gets around and there's a vicious shot. And it's gone out for a corner. Saved by Richardson. And it's cleared. Brisley gets ahead to safety. And 85 minutes on the clock. Let's have a look. Oh, plenty of tired legs now. I think we're going to need to bring somebody on in midfield. I'm thinking possibly Connor Kirby. Or Scott Foden can't play in midfield. We haven't got a midfield central midfielder on the bench. E. A mistake, wasn't it? Hang on, Kirby. Um, And Paul can play in midfield. Beckham pulls out on the left there. We could bring on Sam Osborne. Let's bring Sam Osborne on who can play. Bring him on for Kirby. And then what we'll do is we'll swap Kirby and Osborne over. Paul can drop back into there. Does he prefer to play as a deep lying playmaker? That's the question. Doesn't really make a lot of odds, I don't think. So that's what we're going to do. Brisley is very, very tired. Do we bring Granite on? Central, def uh, that defensive uh, line has been working quite well today. James Clark out on the right there's made a bit of a difference. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take Warren Clark off and we're going to bring on Jordan Ayana or Aina uh, out on the left there. So he can play on both sides. And back underway. Three minutes of injury time. And it's all done. A 2-0 win, our first win, our first National League North win. It's a winning episode, boys and girls. And I think Theo Richardson has realised that his uh, days are numbered if he uh, doesn't uh, pull his socks up. A goal from Danley and Bunn in the first half, 22 and 44 minutes. A resounding uh, win, 16 shots, 5 on target, 49% possession against uh, their 5 shots, 3 on target. A point three nine. So, quite liking that. Let's have a look, see what the table looks like. I tell you what, it's going to be surprising how uh, a couple of wins will actually pull us up this table very quickly. Um, albeit Kettering do have a game in hand now um, over us, but um, just two points adrift of Scarborough Athletic, the team that we've beaten today. So, if we could just scratch, um, if we could just sort of like put uh, two or three uh, games together. And win them, we could pull ourselves out of this uh, drop zone, which just make life a little bit more bearable and uh, pull ourselves up the table. And uh, a few more clean sheets would go down rather well as well. Uh, right, we have a number of players coming in on uh, trial and so on and so forth. I said waiting and hoping that uh, that uh, goalkeeper will come in to us as well, which uh, will really rouse things up and make things... Um, Look uh, very prim and proper, I think, around the place. So a uh, little bit of tweaking here and there. 
Uh, right, we're going to play uh, three games. Brackley Town again, uh, who we beat 2-0. Um, we're going to play them again away from home this time uh, in the Vanarama National League. Darlington, top of the table, uh, and Southport. We're going to come back for Chorley um, in the National League North and Oxford United in the FA Cup first round proper. That might uh, bring us in some money. You never know. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, uh, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all future episodes of To Be A Legend and any new series as we release them here on the channel. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel, then the best way to follow me on... Uh, well, not the best way to follow me, but the best way to do it is to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend are released every day this week at 4.15pm, so watch out for the next one tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. Episode 4 will be out tomorrow. Till then, it's a very goodbye. Bye.